We all have a morning routine that helps us start our day from modeling the perfect outfit to listening to an Alexa update on the morning traffic We perform these seemingly mundane tasks day in and day out without so much as a second thought But as one woman found out perhaps we should be paying more attention When 53 year old Stephanie bronze of Ohio noticed she began to feel ill every morning without fail She could no longer ignore the symptoms and when she realized that the very thing that was making her sick had to do with her ordinary morning routine she was in utter disbelief most adults go about their morning routines without so much as a thought they take a shower choose an outfit and head out for the day 53 year old Stephanie bronze of Withamsville, Ohio was no different though nothing about her morning routine changed over the years she couldn't help but notice something started to feel off every day around the exact same time she'd begin to feel ill still she struggled to pinpoint exactly why Stephanie felt this way so frequently that she began to wonder what she was doing wrong by the time she was ready to head for the door she would be so unbelievably sick that going to work seemed impossible but that's when she had a sudden realization I always had my coffee at home Stephanie pointed out and within three sips um having severe reactions eventually at the suggestion of a friend she read an article online that changed everything the article mentioned how many coffee makers feature certain dangerous aspects like collecting dirt it also explained that the devices often gather a variety of mold and bacteria inside and they can harbor more germs than a toilet seat coffee makers are certainly a moist environment where mold and bacteria are known to grow in high number Kelly Reynolds associate professor of public health at the University of Arizona explained but could it really be enough to make Stephanie sick absolutely according to Kelly while the human body can put up with this bacteria for a limited time at some point they'll grow to levels high enough to cause sickness she confirmed upon learning this Stephanie was understandably afraid of what she might find so she brought the coffee maker into her office to open it up and investigate when she finally plied off the lid using a screwdriver she was beyond repulsed by what she found inside not only was there an immense level of calcium buildup but a brownish mold had grown there as well it was horrifying Stephanie later admitted she was disgusted by her discovery perhaps what shocked Stephanie the most was just how difficult the products design made it to clean in the first place she began to wonder whether there was even an option to avoid this kind of bacteria buildup from happening in the future it's impossible to get to the full tank unless you dismantle this machine which I haven't figured out yet Stephanie said outside of taking a hammer to it I don't know how to completely open it and see what's inside while it was horrifying to find the disgusting dirt and sludge built up inside the coffee maker Stephanie was glad that she'd finally uncovered the root of her problem then she had an idea Stephanie began focusing on bringing awareness to the issue not only did she want to warn the public of the dangers but she wanted to make sure they didn't just ignore the symptoms either she stressed the manufacturers needed to make their machines easier to clean in the meantime Stephanie sent a sample of the buildup to the producers of her coffee maker well she didn't receive an answer she knew that the majority of such products did contain coliform bacteria when the word spread about Stephanie's discovery many people were quick to reach out with similar stories some like Carolyn Forte of the Good Housekeeping Research Institute even offered a helping hand Carolyn and a number of other publications like home appliances and cleaning products lab suggested that using a vinegar solution would likely work best since it contains sanitizing properties Carolyn was sure to mention how Stephanie and others could be sure to keep their coffee makers as clean as possible the carafe lid the filter basket should be cleaned daily with warm sudsy water she said but people like Stephanie who use their coffee makers every single day do need to perform maintenance a few times a year too a coffee maker that's used daily should be decalcified about once per month in hard water areas and every two to three months in soft water areas Carolyn concluded the same kind of maintenance also goes for people who use pod based coffee makers like a Keurig. by placing a solution of water and white vinegar into the water dispenser and running it through they'll effectively clean the mechanism inside as for Stephanie her love of coffee was far too great to ever give it up so like everyone else she simply needed to keep up with cleaning her coffee maker regularly if she had any hope of avoiding possible medical complications well that ought to make people think twice about never washing their coffee makers who'd want to turn such a pleasant part of their morning routine into something so dangerous